An airline sells 150 tickets for a flight that can carry only 147 passengers. They do this because they know that, on average, only 96% of passengers actually arrive for their flight. Find the probability of exactly 147 passengers arriving for their flight. This is a binomial distribution because either the passengers arrive or they don't. So two choices, two different possibilities makes it a binomial probability. And we can use Excel to calculate all of these, and we will. But first we have to determine exactly what's being asked. And what is being asked here is for exactly 147 passengers arriving for their flight. So in notation that would be probability that x equals 147. And we can start to pick out some information here. We have um, n equals 150 trials, and that is because they sold 150 tickets. The probability of success on any one trial is 0.96, because it says on average 96% of the passengers. So that means that on any given passenger, the probability that they will show up is 0.96. And x we have here, 147. And the way we find an exact binomial probability, as opposed to cumulative, as we will in the next two examples, is to use the binome dist function in Excel. Now, I'm going to use uh, the insert function on this example, on the first example, to see, to let, it, to let Excel kind of walk us through this. Now, I've hit this f of x to insert the, the function. This is in Excel from Office XP. So if you have the older version, this, these features are, are all there. If you have the newer uh, version of Excel, absolutely, these features are still there. It might look just a, a little bit different, but the names of the features are the same. Okay, we choose the category of statistical functions, and we're going to go down to the binome dist. And then it tells you, returns the individual binomial distribution probability. Okay. Now, what do we want? The number S, that's number of successes. And we want exactly 147 successes. The number of trials we have is 150. We said that. Probability of success in any one trial is 0.96. And is it a cumulative? Now, this, when we're talking about an exact uh, number of successes, we say false. You can type in just a zero also, but I'm going to type in false to say, to just give you the point that um, this is not a cumulative distribution. We're not adding up probabilities. So we see the answer right there. We'll hit OK and it'll show us the answer. 0 0.08. So I'll write that down right over here. 0 0.08. Seven, rounding to three decimal places. That's the probability of getting exactly 147 successes in 150 trials. No more than 147 passengers arriving for their flight. And this is the way Excel takes in the information. Now the, the N, P, and X are still the same, but uh, this one is asking no more than. So what is the probability that X is less than or equal to 100? 47. That's, that's the notation for what is being asked here. And now that, that actually equals the probability of zero successes plus the probability of one success plus da 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 all the way up to the probability of 147 successes. You can add up all of those. Well, that would take quite a long time. You could do just like we did in, uh, in cell A3 here and just add all those up, but that would take forever. So what we're going to do is use the binome dist cumulative. So I'll show you what we do here. I'm going to put it right down here for to, to show that it goes with this example. And that equals binome dist uh, number of successes, 147. We want no more than 147. Out of how many trials? 150. Probability of success is still 0.96. And now we're asking, is it cumulative? So I am going to type in true. True. And we hit enter. 
and we get an answer, 0.94. And that kind of makes sense. 94% of the time we'll have no more than 147. And so that is 0.942 rounding. And just to elaborate on that, because I, I want to explain what's going on here, this this function, this binome dist, w when it's cumulative, this function adds up, I'll write here, this binome dist cumulative this adds up from p of 0 to p of, we'll say x, whatever your, your x is. So that's what the cumulative does. And it, it always adds that way. It, it starts at the, the left-hand side or from the bottom and, and adds up. But now this next example, to, to really kind of drive this home of what we're doing in B, in C we're saying what is the probability that the flight is overbooked, that more than 147 passengers are arriving? Well, this is the same as saying, so I'll, I'll write this down, probability that X is greater than 147. And by the complement, that is equal to 1 minus the probability that we have no more than 147. So, so just to go back to B real quick, uh, if, if the language is no more than, you're going to use the, pi, uh, the binome dist cumulative. So when you see this, no more than. Now, back to the problem in, in uh, C. We're not saying no more than, we're saying uh, greater than. Well, the complement of greater than 147 is no more than 147. So because we already have this information from, from choice B, we can just say this equals 1 minus 0.942. And you can use Excel to, to do that, of course. Or you can try to do it in your head. And let's see if I can do it while I am speaking to you. 0 0.0. Five, eight. So that is the probability that the flight is overbooked. That's, uh, well, it <laughs> actually sounds about right. If you've ever been bumped on a flight, that, uh, that sounds about right. They overbook and then they, and then they uh, offer coupons if, they, if you will take the next flight. All right, there it is, a, uh, an example of the binomial probability distribution.